Good morning and welcome once again to our daily prayer message. I'm sitting here in our central courtyard at our beautiful Carmel Mission Basilica. And as we finish up our week of focusing on the parable of the mustard seed, I wanted to share with you a poem by a Scottish poet, Muriel Stewart, entitled The Seed Shop. The Seed Shop. Muriel was born in 18... 18- 85, the daughter of a Scottish barrister who lived much of her life in England, but has been primar- primarily identified with the Scottish Rena- Renaissance literary movement. Much of her early poetry dealt with feminist politics, and she also wrote about World War I. In the latter part of her life, she gave up publishing poetry and wrote exclusively about gardening. And in her book, Fools a Garden, which was published in uh, 13, excuse me, 1936, 1936, uh, it became a bestseller, it became a bestseller. Uh, Muriel died in 1967. <coughs> the Seed Shop. Here in a quiet and dusty room they lie. Faded as crumbled stone or shifting sand, Forlorn as ashes, shriveled, scentless, dry. Meadows and gardens running through my hand. In this brown husk of a dale of hawthorn dreams, A cedar in this narrow cell is thrust That will drink deeply of a century's streams, These lilies shall make summer on my dust. Here, in their safe and simple house of death, Sealed in their shelves, a million roses leap. Here, I can blow a garden with my breath, And my hand, a forest, lies asleep. This beautiful poem describes the incredible promise that the author finds in each seed. Each one has the potential to be a rose or a giant tree, but in their nascent form they are unimpressive and dry. It is in her imagination that the author can see the potential of these seeds, the forest or garden that they could create. We can suppose that this vision would guide her in planting and tending them to make that vision a reality. You know, we are all such seeds to our loving Father. Our God has created each one of us in his image and likeness to do his work. And he is constantly involved in our growth nurturing us and always caring for us. As we struggle in life, as many of us may be experiencing now in this time of pandemic, it's encouraging to remember that we are the perfect creations of God. He knew us before we were even in our mother's womb and he has counted every hair on our heads. When we seek to follow his commandments and to discern his will, we continue the process of becoming the person that he created us to be, the person that he desires us to be. This lifelong journey will end in his embrace and his welcome to the heavenly kingdom. Assured of such a a wonderful destination, Let's endeavor to serve God and one another well in this life and to never stop growing into the wonderful creation that he intends us to be and that he constantly sees when he gazes at us. As always, I invite you, if you have any prayer requests, to just go to our parish website, carmelmission.org, and send those requests to Father Rodrigo and myself, and we will take them with our own intentions during our daily Mass and prayers. Thank you.